Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace a brake puck in your riding mower, make sure the ignition switch is in the off position and the key has been removed. Use a floor jack to lift up the rear of the mower. Next, remove the dust cap from the rear left wheel. Use a large flathead screwdriver to help pry the E-clip off. Remove the outer washers and pull off the wheel. Use a 7 16th inch socket to loosen and unthread the mounting bolts securing the brake assembly. Detach the brake assembly and remove the outer brake puck if still intact. Since we recommend replacing both brake pucks at the same time, you can pull off the brake rotor to remove the inner puck as well. Install the new inner brake puck by aligning it on the transmission housing. Hold it in place as you reposition the brake rotor. Confirm that the push pins and backing plate are in place on the brake assembly. Then align the outer puck. Hold the components in place as you reposition the brake assembly on the transmission housing. Thread and tighten the mounting bolts to secure. Keep in mind you can increase the brake tension by removing the cotter pin and using a 9 16th inch wrench to rotate the adjustment nut clockwise. Once adjusted, replace the cotter pin. Now confirm that the spacers and key are in place on the axle. Then slide on the wheel. Replace the outer washers. Secure the E-clip. and replace the dust cap. Lower the rear of the mower and your repair will be completed.